Today's topic is decimals. Decimals is another way to write fraction. How? Let us see. Here is a figure. Total number of parts in this rectangle are 10. Let us shade few parts. So I have shaded one part here. Now what is a fraction? Fraction is 1 by 10 and we can say it is 1 tenth. Now in a form of decimals we can write it 0 0.1 and we will read it 0 0.1. So we can say decimal is another way to express fraction. Let us take one more example. Here is one more rectangle. I have shaded few parts. This time total number of parts are 10 and I have shaded 7 parts. So fraction of shaded part is 7 by 10 or we can say 7 tenths. Now here we can write this 7 tenths in a form of decimals also like this 0 0.7 and we will read it 0 0.7. Now let us take one more rectangle. Here are 100 parts. Total number of parts are 100. Now I will shade few parts. Now number of shaded parts are 18. So what is the fraction? Fraction is 18 by 100 or we can say 18 hundredths. But we can write this in a form of decimals also. How? It is 0 0.18. We will read this 0 0.18. We will not read this 0 0.18. This is wrong. Always remember, when we read decimals, we read in this way. 0 0.18. Let us take one more example. Here are two rectangles. One rectangle has 10 equal parts and another rectangle also has 10 equal parts. Now I will shade few parts in both the rectangles. In first rectangle I have shaded all 10 parts and in second rectangle I have shaded 8 parts. In first rectangle where I have shaded all 10 parts, fraction is 10 by 10. So we can say it is equals to 1 and here I have shaded 8 parts. So fraction of shaded part is 8 by 10 or we can say 8 tenths. Now because it is a combination of 2 and it is a form of mixed fraction, we can write this is as a form of mixed fraction 1 plus 8 by 10. It means 1 and 8 by 10 which is a mixed fraction where 1 is whole number part and 8 by 10 is a proper fraction. So it is a combination of whole number and a proper fraction which is called mixed number. Now we can express this in form of decimals also. How? Where 1 is written because it is a whole number part we will write 1 as it is and we know that through previous examples 8 by 10 can be written as 0 0.8 now 1 plus 0 0.8 which is equals to 1.8 and how we will read this 1.8 let us write 1 decimal 2.763 how we can write it into number very easy 2.763 means 2 is a whole number so we will write 2 and point we will write this point then 763 763 so it is a decimal number 2.763 let us study this decimal number first this 2 which is before decimal is called whole number part and after this point these numbers are called decimal part and this point is called decimal point.
let us study place value chart and we have already learned that place values are like this ones tens hundreds thousands and so on and these are called places and what are the values for these places for ones place we know the value of ones place is 1 and the value of tens place is 10 the value of hundreds place is 100 and value of thousands place is 1000 now let us take one number here is a number 7342 it is a number 7342 i have written in this number in this place value chart now we can easily find out the place value of each digit which we have already learnt in number system so now let us write place values so place value of 2 because 2 is at 1's place so we will multiply 2 by 1 and the place value of 2 is 2 now what is the place value of 4 because 4 is at 10's place that's why we will multiply this 4 by 10 and the place value is 40 now here place value of 3 we know 3 is at hundreds place and the value of hundred place is 100 so we will multiply 3 and 100 and the place value of 3 is 300 in similar way the place value of 7 because it is at thousands place it is 7 multiplied by 1000 it means 7000 now let us study place values towards this side also here if we need to find out the place value from this direction then we need to multiply by 1 by 10 because this place is called tenths place in similar way in this direction 1 by 100 which is the value of hundreds place and it is 1 by 1000 which is the value of thousands place now let us take few numbers on this place 6 2 and 4 let us find out the place value of these places for these numbers if there is a number which is 6 which is at tenths place so how we will find out the number or we can say place value of this number 6 at tenths place just multiply 6 by 1 by 10 it means the place value of 6 at tenths place is 6 by 10 then in similar way here because 2 is at hundreds place so the value of 2 is 2 by 100 and here 4 is at thousands place so the value place value of 4 is 4 multiply 1 by 1000 it means 4 by 1000 it is the place value of 4 so we can write this number like this also 7342.624 it is a way to read a decimal number in this number we can easily find out that 7342 is a whole number part this point is decimal point then 624 this part is decimal part so 7342.624 always remember we will read in this way only 7342.624 if you will read like this 7342.624 it is wrong absolutely wrong the right way is 7342.624 now let us solve this write the place value of the circle digit here is a number 9.805 it is a way to read the decimal numbers 9.805 where 9 is whole number part this point is decimal point and this part is called decimal part now let us find out the place value of the circle digit and the circle digit is 5 so we need to find out the place value of 
5 here. So let us make a place value chart. Here is it is a place value chart. Right now we will put this number 9.805 in this place value chart. We know that 9 is at ones place. So we will write 9 under the ones place. Then this 8 is at tenths place. So we will write 8 here and 0 at hundredths place, 5 at thousandths place. So we will write the number like this 9 at ones place, 8 at tenths place, 0 at hundredths place, 5 at thousandths place. Now we need to find out the place value of this digit only circle digit which is 5. So how we will find out? Just multiply 5 by 1000 and we will get the place value 5 by 1000 and we can read it like this also 5 thousandths. It is a place value of this circle digit 5. Let us solve one more question. Here is a decimal number. Now at first read it in a correct manner. 259.63. It is the right way to read the decimal number. Here we know that 259 is a whole number part. This point is decimal point and this part is decimal part. Now let us write this number in place value chart. We know that we need to find out the place value of the circle digit which is 6. So let us write this number in place value chart first. This 2 is at hundreds place. So we will write like this 2 at hundreds place, 5 at tens place, this 9 at ones place and this 6 at tens place, 3 at hundreds place. Now we need to find out the place value of 6 only and we know that 6 is at tens place. So what is the place value? Just multiply 6 by 1 by 10 and we will get the place value of 6 is 6 by 10 and we can read it like this also that the place value is 6 tenths. We can write decimal numbers in expanded form also. So write the expanded form of this decimal number but before it read it in a proper manner. 178.345 right 178.345 we need to write this into expanded form as we know that expanded form is a sum of place values of all the digit so let us create a place value chart it is a place value chart now we will write this number in place value chart and how this you know very well 178 it means 1 at hundreds place 7 at tens place 8 at ones place 3 at tenths place 4 at hundreds place 5 at thousands place so like this we can write this number in place value chart now we will find out the place value of all the digits so what is the place value of 1 1 multiply by 100 that is 100 place value of 7 is 7 multiply by 10 which is 70 place value of 8 is 8 multiply 1 which is 8 place value of 3 is 3 multiply 1 by 10 which is 3 by 10 and place value of 4 is 4 multiply by 1 by 100 which is 4 by 100 and the place value of 5 is 5 multiply by 1 by 1000 which is 5 by 1000. So these are the place values. Now expanded form can be written with the help of the sum of place values. So just write the place values and put the sign of addition. So what is the place value? Because these place values are in form of fraction that's why it is called fractional expansion also so it is our fractional expansion which is 100 plus this place value 70 plus it is 8 plus 3 by 10 plus 4 by 100 plus 5 by 1000 so easy but you know we can write fractional expansion in form of decimal expansion also how we know that 100 
will be written as 100 because all these are whole numbers. So we will write this as it is 100 plus 70 plus 8. But we know that fraction can be expressed in a form of decimal also. So 3 by 10 can be written as 0.3. 4 by 100 can be written as 0 0.04 and 5 by 1000 can be written as 0 0.005. So it is a decimal expansion which is 100 plus 70 plus 8 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.04 plus 0 0.005. So you can write expanded form in any manner either in a fraction form or either in a decimal form. It's up to you. So, my dear students, if you will face any problem in mathematics, what you need to do? You need to just do practice and you can solve any problem. Goodbye.